The very basics of lettering in the Embroidery Studio system. The shortcut letter A, or right clicking on the lettering icon in the toolbox, will bring up your object properties and open in the Specials tab, where you type in the letters and choose the available options. First, type in your lettering and choose a font. The recommended fonts are ESA files indicated by the red zigzag icon, or you can choose the TrueType fonts from the Windows Fonts folder. Choose the required letter height and the baseline. In this case, I've selected a free line and block two. Click the Create Text button and click once on the work area. The free line baseline will be created long enough to contain all of the letters at their natural width. All of these properties may be changed at any time, including the font, the height of the letters and the baseline. Left clicking on the reshape tool, which is found under the pick tool in the main toolbox, or using the keyboard shortcut letter H, activates the reshape mode and allows you to kern the letters. Left clicking a node and holding down deals with that selected letter and you're able to drag the letter along the baseline. Holding the shift key at the same time lifts the letter above or below the baseline and holding the control key you can move the letter anywhere within the limits of the baseline. Right clicking on a letter node selects that letter and all to the right and the same features are available. Back to left clicking a letter node and you can slant, make letters taller, enlarge proportionally, make wider, or rotate the letter with the small reshape icons that appear around the letter. Clicking the vector outline of the letter allows you to reshape that letter. To check out some of the more advanced features of the lettering system, click on the links below the video. Thanks for watching.